All right, getting back into it. Servo mounting time. I'm using my Savox SC1258 titanium gear cordless servo. Probably very overkill on the speed, but it's uh, the best somewhat high torque servo that I have available to me right now that's not in another vehicle that really wants it more than this guy does. Uh, they do not give you a servo horn, so just for now, to be good to my servo, I'm using a Kimbro servo saver. It may turn out that that is too light, too loose for rock crawling duty. It all depends upon driving conditions and such, but for now, I'm just gonna put it on there. Uh, like I said, just to be kind to my very nice servo there. Mounting hardware, thankfully, is all included, so that just is going to get attached to only the bottom two tabs. Now, these steering links, these are beefy, nice and thick with huge captured ends for for a tenth scale this is good stuff the only bad thing here is that these are not actually turnbuckles they're just threaded rods so there's no spot for you to really grab onto it and make in and out adjustments you have to take the ends off because both ends are threaded in the same direction so you can't just hold it and turn it okay another less than optimal thing about these links that these these uh, balls in here actually have a lot of friction on them the surface isn't completely smooth I tried to make sure that uh, the captured ends weren't being encroached upon by the, uh, the the metal part of the link just going in too far that didn't seem to be the main problem I put a little shot of, of uh, cow RC moose lick in each of these Hopefully, once that dries up, they'll loosen up a bit. But uh, that is something that I will be looking out for because I don't want, especially this one right here, that will need a little bit of movement. Uh, the one that goes from the servo, that one, I don't want these to be all bound up in there. This one, once they get settled at the angle they want to be, they're just going to stay as they are, so that's not a problem. Mm. Even rotating, even just going this way, it wants to that's not cool okay over here on this side the 25 millimeter screw that they give you to go through this side doesn't quite hit the the uh, the nylon ring on the nylock nut so tighten that down a little bit extra on that side so it will bite into the plastic a little bit uh, and or um, use a little bit of thread lock at the end of that one on the other side you've got a little bit of excess so it's all good all right so when i first did this i had a little bit of a clearance issue with the end of this this ball end right here uh, i was actually getting hung up against the the sides of the servo saver here I could have cut this down, but instead what I did was just add a little two millimeter spacer, a little gold spacer right there, just to space this forward a little bit. So now that's moving smoothly. And it looks like this is gonna be just a little bit on the short side, this, this horn. I could use one that's uh, probably two to three millimeters longer for the, the bottom hole. So that will definitely be something that I will change eventually. I'll get just a dedicated horn, you know, a longer horn, probably aluminum, just for this uh, for this particular vehicle. But for now, this will definitely get me going. Now it is time for another thing that I've been really looking forward to, assembling together this sweet cage. Nylon, I think it's fiber reinforced nylon. Is it? Maybe it's just nylon cage hot this is going to go together with a bunch of screws and spacers and got a, a battery tray here which i'm not even going to use because it puts the battery all up high and towards the rear nylock nuts get inserted into these convenient little holders now that is more like it that is how to do that because if i 
I'm not mistaken, those are not going to turn once they're in there. So this will make the assembly much easier. Sweet, <laughs> three-dimensional structure. All right, I'm gonna say it, tubular. All right, now for these ones, we are putting metal into metal. Therefore, I am going to use the red lock. Just a little bit, just to make sure that these guys want to stay there. I don't want them slowly backing out over time. And these are a different screw that use a smaller, I think this is a number one head. Tell me that is not sick. If you are a warm-blooded straight male, you like this, guaranteed. If you're not any of the above, that's fine. But if you're like me, you like this, guaranteed. Oh, it's, it's not completely firm yet. I mean, it's not all together, of course. The transmission plate down here is gonna help to uh, stiffen things up a lot, but oh, it's just such a beautiful piece. I mean, I could, I, I would pay to go to a museum that has a lot of just different uh, cages like this built, just like that. No other stuff on them, just like this. You know, different designs and stuff. Bigger ones, smaller ones, I don't care. Just so beautiful. Oh, yes. So, on that note, this part is done. It is time to move on to building the transmission.